Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about uh, Jenkins and Fastlane using the latest versions of Jenkins and Fastlane. Uh, this is an updated video of my older uh, versions. So uh, many of you have asked me to upload a new version with the new uh, options. So I'm going to do that uh, today. Uh, let's start from the beginning. Step one. Uh, you need to install uh, Jenkins. Go to Jenkins.io uh, and click download. And in the downloads, I'm going to download the Jenkins version 2.182 for Mac, Mac OS X. Uh, click that and I have already downloaded it. Just uh, double click on the package the installer will pop up just continue i'm going to continue till the installation finishes yeah once the once the installation is successful uh local host page will be opened automatically once jenkins is ready the next step is uh, to unlock jenkins so let's go to the home folder of jenkins now you are in the home folder of uh, jenkins and you you can see that the secret folder is uh, protected so you need to unlock the protection uh, get info give read and write access and apply to the enclosed items sometimes it can take a longer time uh, the applying the permission uh, progress will be will not be going away uh, so i have to force kill the finder and then restart the finder then uh, the permissions will be already applied uh, so now you can see that uh, it's open the secrets folder now you have a file called initial admin password uh, double click and open that the text file it will contain the uh, password to unlock jenkins so just copy that uh, string and paste it here and click uh, continue then it will ask you to install the plugins so choose install suggested plugins while so i am going to skip that it it took me around three minutes uh, now you got a screen where you can create an admin user as of now uh, I am just uh, continuing as the existing admin then it is asking you to configure the URL uh, that also I keep keep the default value now Jenkins is ready so here you can see that you will be using admin as the username and the the password that be copied to unlock uh, the Jenkins is the password for it now click on start using jenkins now you can uh, see the console of jenkins over here uh, now let's go and uh, create a new job uh, here in this tutorial in i'm in this video we are going to integrate uh, jenkins and fastlane uh, so i'm going to give the name as uh, fastlane jenkins test and create it as a freestyle uh, project and click ok yeah now you can see the uh, project uh, level console here now go to source code management uh, choose uh, git and enter the url for the git so i have already created a, a sample project uh, let's copy the url yeah click enter now the your repository is configured now you can see a workspace has been created now let's do a build click on build so you can see that the build is 
now in progress yeah. if you see this blue icon that means the build is now uh, successful and if you go and see you can see the files uh, which is present in the workspace now uh, let's go and install fast lane so i'm go going to use homebrew to install uh, fast lane so brew cask install fast lane this also will take a bit of time so i'm going to skip it okay now you can see that uh, fast lane is now successfully installed and uh, you can see like could not uh, detect shell config uh, so this is required for uh, the command line to identify the fast lane command see for example if you uh, type in fast lane now you can see that fast lane command not found so we need to add the path uh, to the bash r bash underscore profile file uh, so that the command line could uh, detect the command fast lane so let's do that so just set the path and hit uh, control x it will ask you to save the file uh, hit y and hit enter so now the file is saved and you might have to restart the terminal for the changes to take uh, effect so now if you hit fast lane yeah you can see the command is being identified right now i hit it in a different folder so it is unable to find uh, fast lane so i j i'm just cancelling it <coughs> okay so now you have installed fast lane and the path is being set up you already have jenkins also in place now we need to configure our ios project okay. let's now navigate to our uh, ios project folder now give fast lane in it these commands or these steps can be found in the fast lane documentation also i would be providing the links to that in the description uh, if you want to go and check by yourself so let's hit fast lane in it yeah so earlier versions of uh, fast lane there was an option to choose uh, to do a manual configuration uh, but here it seems like in the newest version you have to provide your apple id and login and password so if i hit enter it's asking you the username and password uh, either you can provide your uh, correct username and password for your uh, apple account else as a workaround just provide some string uh, yeah and it, it just fails and you just continue and it will ask you whether to create a new account uh, click no and uh, the scheme uh, just hit enter so that's it so now it's kind of uh, switched to a manual mode and you have now configured now if you go to your uh, project folder you can see that there is a fast lane uh, folder created now let's go and see what is there in the fast lane folder you have an app file the app file basically includes all your app identifier apple id etc if you are going full fledged with fast lane that is to submit the app to app store all these things then those details that we have provided during the configuration will be updated here uh, right now we are just doing a test so it's okay then you have the fast file so this is the file where in which uh, you what all actions to be followed that is that that is being defined in this file like for example to run your test the build building your app all these things uh, submitting it as a beta or release or uh, submitting into test flight all these things can be configured over here uh, detailed documentation of what all actions can be done can be found in this fast lane actions 
documentation i will post the link to this in the description so that you can go and check that out now the next step is to commit uh, those two files that is being created the app file and fast lane files into your github repository so that our jenkins can start uh, getting it now let's configure uh, the fast file uh, adding the commands that we want so you can see that there are a quite lot lot of commands already present like before starting uh, you can set up an slack url then it will run all the tests then do the beta then release deploy then after all these things just put a successful message so let's add a message over here into the console and if there is any error oh, okay let's put it something like uh, first lane has found error in your build okay now uh, we we do not have any test so just delete the test and the, yeah we we can just do the build gym is the command that is uh, used to build the project so let's keep just the gym and uh, we do not have any uh, release or submitting to the app store yeah that's all let's keep keep it uh, really uh, simple so we'll just have one lane which is called the beta yeah then let's save the fast file let's head back to jenkins uh, go into our jenkins project click on configure uh, now go down and add a build uh, job click on execute uh, shell uh, give fast lane command and the lane name we have a lane called beta uh, now save it and now let's do a build okay there is an error let's see what it is okay yeah uh, you can see that jenkins is unable to find the fast lane uh, command not found let's fix that okay in order to fix the build error uh, you have to provide the fully qualified path where the bin fast lane is located and i have changed the lane name to custom lane uh, so right now in in this version of uh, fast lane if we use the gym command the gym command or build underscore ios underscore app all these commands by default build and try to code sign and archive the project uh, which which won't work unless and until you have this profiles or uh, the team setup so right now we cannot do that so as a fix i have used xcode build instead of gym command or build underscore ios command so here you have to provide few values the project uh, name like if you are using uh, cocoa ports you have to probably give instead of project you have to give workspace and the workspace name then the scheme to build then the configuration whether debug or not uh, then the build command the destination and the build settings where in which we say whether you need uh, code signing or not uh, so using this you can just do a build and for other things like if you want to do a release upload all these things you can use uh, the gym command uh, gym command uh, for that right now for this purpose i just modified the lane to have just only this much okay let's go and save and now let's try to do a build yeah now you can see uh, the build is now uh, successful and one thing to uh, rem remember here is whatever changes that you are doing in your fast file app file or in your source file make sure you commit it to git before you're trying to do a jenkins uh, run 
uh, else it will be like uh, you might be doing a lot of changes in your configuration but you are running the same version which is available uh, to Jenkins uh, without committing uh, to the github so make sure all these changes you commit to github before trying it out uh, then only the Jenkins can know and I have created a, a gem file as a dependency so if you open it you have uh, this dependency uh, for gems so that's that's it so let's recap what we have done uh, so we have installed uh, Jenkins <coughs> uh, yeah we have installed Jenkins after installing Jenkins we have unlocked Jenkins then we have set up a configured a small project uh, for running the builds uh, we have tried to run a build by clicking the build now command uh, then we install fast lane using homebrew after installing fast lane we have set up the environment path uh, in the bash underscore profile file after that we uh, created a build job in jenkins and there we uh, gave the custom lane uh, command and we have modified the fast lane command to include the actions to build you have a lot of actions available here uh, if you go to the fast lane documentation you have a lot of actions which is possible here which you can try later and all all that you need to do is to modify the fast file on what actions you want uh, and yeah and we are able to get a successful build out so now you have successfully configured uh, jenkins uh, then installed fast lane and uh, successfully uh, built a project yeah and uh, and many of you have asked how to uninstall uh, Jenkins once it is installed uh, it's very simple first you need to go to applications uh, find the uh, Jenkins directory just move to trash and delete it uh, then you need to uh, go to users shared and you can see another folder called Jenkins uh, delete it delete this folder also and the third third and final step would be like you should go to your settings and go to users and groups there you will have a standard user without any name just select that and delete it that's it and your jenkins is now completely uninstalled and if you want to uninstall fast lane uh, just use brew cask uninstall fast lane if you have used homebrew i mean i i felt using homebrew is uh, is the nice way to install all these things yeah that's all uh, thanks for watching bye bye